So I'm going to start off with my eyes today. I'm going to be trying out two new Juvia's Place palettes that I got in the mail yesterday. I got the Nubian 2 and the Masquerade palette. Um, this is going to be more of like a neutral toned down look because I have to wear it to work today. So I can't really, I don't really want to do anything too crazy, but these are what these beauties look like. So I don't really know what I'm going for today. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna try this out, I guess. I'm going to use some concealer on my lid as tacked as my primer. I don't really ever use a real shadow primer. This is just the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain. So we're just gonna use that. I'll just use my fingers. Some translucent powder. I really don't know what I want to do for this look today. I think I'm going to take the color. I'm probably going to do Morocco first in my crease. And we'll kind of just go from there. I'll scooch in a little bit closer. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I should have been. I swatched these shadows and they look insane. Okay, we got Morocco hanging out in there. I'm going to use the color Madagascar next and just use that to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. And these are from the Nubian 2. I have not touched the Masquerade palette yet. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I don't know. We're kind of just going to roll with this. Alright. Hanging out, you know. Okay. Um, I don't know what else I want to do. I feel kind of lost. Um, I think I'm gonna go into the color, I think this one is Ada, it's ADA, that's all I know. And I'm going to use the Luxie 229 Super Bonding Brush. This one's a bit more precise. I'm just gonna place that out there and then blend it. I don't know if this is brush I'm using, but this color isn't really very pigmented. Some of them that I swatched, they look nice, and other ones, not so much. I'm not really liking the color. I think I'm gonna try out Zulu instead. I'm gonna place a Zulu color in here too. I might try to do a little bit of a halo eye. The next time I use this palette though, I want to do a super like pink, pink and purpley eye. I love pinks and purples. Okay. I can clean that up out there with concealer. It's not looking too cute. Okay. I think I'm digging that. I'm probably just going to place... Um, one of these shimmer shades and one of these palettes. I don't know which one I want to do. I think I'm going to start off with Giza. And then if I don't like it, I can use another color. I'm just going to start with my finger. And if that doesn't work out, I can use something else. Just 
placing that on the center of my lid. I like the way that that looks. I'm going to do some more blending and stuff though and then deepen up everything. Alright, so on a little bit of a more precise brush I'm going to pick up Zulu again and I'm going to place that on my just in here and then out here as well to deepen that a little bit more. And this is the Luxie 237 brush. I'm feeling that. Honestly, I like that. I'm just going to blend out here a little bit. Okay. So, I think I like that. I might just add a little bit more of the Giza color. But, yeah, I think I'm digging that. I need some more darkness, though, okay? I just need a little bit more. I'm going to take the color Fulani. I'm literally just placing that out there. Alright, I think I'm digging this eye look. I'm going to go and do the rest of my face. Um, and then we'll come back. We'll do a little lash line. And all that jazz. The Focus Foundation from Wet n Wild in the shade Porcelain. And I'm just going to use what comes in it to apply it. This little spatula type of dealio. And I'm just going to take my Real Technique sponge to blend that out. a little bit more into some of these areas. I don't really remember if this is buildable or not. I don't really use it that much. It doesn't offer like full full coverage for me at least because I do have a lot of acne and scarring but it is still nice. Some tart shape tape. And mine is in the shade fair. And then I'm just going to use my sponge to blend that out. Going to set that, I'm going to use my Stargazer White Press Powder. This is going to help brighten my under eyes. It's really hard for me to brighten my under eyes because I'm so pale already. So literally a white powder is kind of the only thing that'll work. So I'm going to take it on an e.l.f. small tapered brush. And this is a really nice powder. I found it on Amazon or eBay, I think, for $5, I think. And it shipped out to me pretty fast as well. Alright, and then for the rest of my face, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. This is a really nice powder from the drugstore. And I'm just going to press it in everywhere else. I did not put... The white powder. I have to bring it down my neck too. They brought quite a bit of foundation down there, which I always do that. Okay, great. Now I'm going to do my contouring, or actually, okay, I got a lot of new bronzes here. I don't know which one to try. Well, I have two new. I have the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and then the Butter Bronzer from the from Physicians Formula. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm going to try out the Butter Bronzer first, and we'll kind of go from there. I just dropped the palette on the ground. I like that. It's not too orangey, which is a major problem that I have. 
with my fair skin. I had might dip into this too just because I'm curious about it and I haven't used it. I swatched it in store though. I got it at Ulta yesterday. So this one definitely has more pigment to it. A little bit more orangey as you can see, but I'll make it work. I might contour today, should I? I think I'm gonna contour. And for that, I use the NYX blush in the shade Taupe. I'm going to take Morocco and put it on my lower lash line. I love that like bright orange, it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna take some Madagascar. So, highlighters. I'm kind of conflicted right now. I finally got my hands on the Pure Nude highlighter from Essence. But I have a feeling it's not gonna be enough shine for me. I guess I can try it out though. I'm gonna try it. I do like an intense highlight though, I will admit, so we'll see if this is intense enough or not. I'm just gonna spray my brush. I'm using a Luxie. A Luxie brush. Not a fan of that. Okay, I'm gonna use my trusty palette, the palette that I trust with my life, um, everything that I am, sleep makeup palette. This is my child basically. I'm gonna take, because I have kind of a more warm look, I'm gonna take these two bottom colors and use those. I'm happy, I am at home, I feel peace, I love my life now, this is great. It's probably not picking up on camera how beautiful this is, but like, these highlighters are beautiful. I'm gonna go over it a little bit with the icy purple in here because I feel like that just kind of makes everything better for me. I'm going to take that orange shade and put it under my brows. Shoot you for some of that highlights. On my inner corner, I'm going to take the purple in the orangey peachy color. That's the plan there, man. Alright. Digging it. Great. It looks really uneven because my writing's uneven. I'm sorry. I have a new blush here. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love. So I'm gonna try that out real quick here. This is the BH Cosmetics B2 brush. I don't really know what that means. It's a pretty blush. I'm not very much of a blush person, person, person. Alright, I don't really think I'm gonna do, you know, I might just hit myself up with some nude liner. Because that's my favorite. I'm gonna take the NYX Wonder Pencil. And just line my waterline with this. I'm using the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. I'm sorry about this wind though. I literally think I'm gonna blow away in the wind when I go outside. This lipstick from e.l.f. It is their moisturizing lipstick in the shade in the nude. I 
keep this in my purse because it's just if I need to throw a lip color on I use this so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today and that you like this look right here and yeah I hope to see you another time goodbye